Okay, if you've seen my recent videos, you might be wondering why I'm doing all this all over again. And the reason is the previous CPU water block had a crack in it on the output port, which is this one here. And I've had to replace it. So this is the third CPU water block that I've uh, purchased from EK. And the reason being I cracked the first two ones due to over tightening of uh, compression fittings. So it's entirely my fault. Now this new one is gold, as you can see. Um, it's a new model that EK released and it costs 75 quid, whereas the previous nickel ones cost 60 quid. So it's only 15 pounds more. And um, I thought I might as well give it a go. I'm not really bothered about aesthetics or anything like that, but uh, for 15 pounds more, why not? Now, the re reason I'm recording this video is I really want to capture for the uh, first time what actually happens when the pump is turned on for the very first time. Now, obviously, there's a bit of liquid in the system because I didn't drain the system completely to replace the CPU water block. But nevertheless, this is the first time the reservoir has been filled up and there's that much left to go in. So at least another two or three uh, fills of the reservoir. So I'm going to turn it on for the very first time just to uh, so we can all see how quickly the liquid drains out and into the system. So here we go. Oh, the pump just started running and it's pushed all that liquid through the system in no time at all. And some of it's already going to the CPU block. Alright, thanks for watching.